Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to me. When you can safely close your eyes. Yeah. So my phone what's what are you doing that for that's why uh, uh, oh dear I was going to make a video of this but I couldn't be bothered I, it, it would have involved looking in the mirror to see just to make sure that I was beautiful so, <laughs> so I just thought I'd just make a podcast instead you know, just a audio, little little old audio old thing. So, hello, how are you doing? You all right? Are you well? Is your, is your? So I posted today. So t- what is today? Today is the is Wednesday, twenty fourth of July, two thousand and twenty four. It's 7.27 p.m. And hopefully it should be quieter now. The downstairs have been laying some flooring or something, which has been quite a bit of banging and stuff. But I think that's all done now. At least I hope it is. So... Vinny's preoccupied with cleaning part of his anatomy, so I think he's going to be busy for a while. Bless him. Uh, Earlier on, I'm in the park. No, I'm coming out of the park on the way home, and he is, for some reason... There was a blade of grass that he needed to sniff. So I kind of pulled me back. Not to the park, but like into the grass where he was. So I'm doing that. And I'm like talking to him saying, come on, you've you've already sniffed that bit of grass. And there's a bit over there you've missed. And suddenly there's this huge face looking at me. Like in my peripheral. And there's this big... Labrador just saying hello so I look around but there's no one with it or her I was like if it was a girl or her yeah no one with her and I didn't ex- inspect Labrador to see what sex it was so I found out later I wasn't that interested to be honest but I was like, oh, it's this beautiful white Labrador. It's like all saying, all being all friendly. Vinny's freaking out because this thing is like a dinosaur to him compared to his size. And he's not... I think he prefers to be the one that initiates. So I'm starting to realise that about him. He likes to be the initiator. He likes to go up to the dogs and then lay down and be all submissive. When a dog comes up to him and it's a little bit fast, he doesn't seem to know what to do. Unless it's a small dog, he doesn't care. But big dogs, I mean, you know, just a big dog is like a giant to him because he's so tiny. He's like the size of an ant. So anyway, I'm like, what's going on? I'm looking around for the owner, not to be seen. So I'm saying, all right, mate, but this dog is a puppy. Well, no, maybe two, but very, very active and very, like, full of beans. So I said, uh, oh, and I saw this lady going, yoo-hoo. I don't know if she went yoo-hoo, but... From a distance. And I realised that she's running. So he's 
the dog's clearly escaped or run off or whatever. So I'm, I say, okay, and I held his lead. Now, luckily on this instance, I only had a tiny bit of lead on Vinny's lead because uh, the lead broke, so I had to make a big knot and make it just, I don't know, just long enough so he can still be on the floor when we're walking. So his legs reach the floor, otherwise it'd be uncomfortable for either him or me if I have to bend down or he has to tiptoe. So I'm holding this dog's collar. I say, so I'll, I'll hold him. She shouts, so I said, what? She said, it's a girl. I said, what? It's a girl. It's a, it's a she. It's a, oh, come on, is, it, is that relevant? She said, yeah, to her it is. Okay, fair enough. But I'm holding him. And so my fingers are around the collar, but he's literally moving around so much, twisting my wrist around. Vinny, he's trying to get to Vinny to say hello. Vinny's trying to run away. So they're both running around me. And at one point, I felt, well, it felt like my left calf muscle twisted 360 degrees. It, that's what it felt like. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'll probably feel it tomorrow if I have hurt it. But it really, I was like pulled right round. And my knee, basically my legs were in, in a knot at the end of it. And she eventually got to me and um, I said, where's your lead? I haven't got a lead with me. And I thought, what's going on? It, it, he'd run out of the garden. I think it's, it's her son's dog. He ran out of the garden. And her first instinct was to run out after him to make sure he's okay. But she didn't really lead with her. It was like, oh, how are you going to get her back? So I, I I'm basically said, okay, good. She got hold of him and was trying to pull him and he didn't have it, wouldn't have it. Wouldn't, didn't want to go. So I said, well, why don't you use this lead? And I'll follow you. I'll carry my one to where you live. You don't live too far. And uh, I, I asked her first, do you live? I said, I do that. But how far do you live? She said, I'll oh, just up the road. If she'd have said like a long distance, I'd have said, well, you yeah, know, just struggle. Just, you know, <laughs> I've done my bit. But she lived literally just around the corner. So she put my lead on him. And I don't know how that held, to be honest with you, because it's, it just shows you those two years in the sea cadets really paid off because that was a not worth an award that I did. It was a big old, like, I think nine knots altogether. So I'm carrying Vinny. He's being awkward because he's trying to get down because he wants to see the dog. The dog's trying to get to Vinny, the other dog. Eventually we get to her house and she, I'm holding Vinny while she's doing that because she's got the lead. So I can't let Lee, I can't let Vinny down because he'll, well, I think in this situation he guaranteed run into the garage after her. So I'm holding on to him. He's starting to play up. Like, get me, let me down, let me down. Let me down. And she comes out and I get the lead and I put it back on him and she gives him a treat. As soon as he had the treat, he was calm, he was happy. Didn't care anymore, for, completely forgot about the other dog. Whenever he's got something like that, he's that's it, he's happy. <laughs> So we come back and he starts pulling me because he wants to go trying to get if it was gardens and trying to like, we've been for our walk. And then we have a little lie down because I'm listening to uh, an audio book. So I thought, oh, I'll do this lying down for a little bit. Just have a little break. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. 
It's fine. And then downstairs, I mean, they've been doing the doing the um, the floor for a few days on and off. Um, they told me they were going to do it, so it's not not really an issue. But it was particularly noisy today. Really, and it's the room right below my bedroom. Bang, bang, bang. No, it didn't bother me because I'm listening to the audio book. But all I'm thinking of is any second now, Vinny's going to start, you know, playing up. Did not care one bit. There was people in the garden screaming and shouting and stuff like other people. And as downstairs and he didn't care. He was just happy and he just cuddled me. It's weird. His wrist just like the way he is sometimes, I just don't don't get it. He was not interested in anything else. He was just happy just to rest and listen to the audiobook with me. What was I what, what was I listening to? Oh, okay, fair enough. You wanna know everything, don't you? Let's have a look. What was I listening to? Introduction to Psychology. It's an audio book. Let, oh. All right, okay. Introduction to Psychology. It's the great courses. I don't know. I can't see who it's by. But there's a few of them um, that I got. I've, I'm, in, I'm in the process of reading quite a few books at the moment all at one time really let's just show you what I've done not all at one time but you know intermittently what right so I've got introduction to psychology by Catherine something uh, I can't see the name a degree in a, a degree in a book so that's uh, psychology as well. Degree a in a valid psychometric. That wasn't supposed to happen. I've got the Lucifer Effect by Philip Simbargo. I've got borderline personalities disorder. Um, handbook or something. I've got psychology for dummies. I've got dark persuasion. Uh, that's all about like brainwashing and you know how psycholo psychology. Um, like Pavlovian stuff was used during the Cold War and in America and all that stuff like after the after the um, what's it Second World War um, there's Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza The Brave Athlete Bipolar Disorder The Ultimate Guide 50 Psychology Classics Attachment in Psychotherapy Psychology of Human Behaviour, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, The Great Ideas of Psychology, Man's Search for Meaning, Codependent No More, Journey to the Heart. So they're the books I'm in the middle of reading at the moment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's quite a few, isn't it, actually? The ones for psychology is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten of them are psychological books. Psychological. They're all kind of psychological ish, ish. And yeah, I just kind of get myself. The thing is, right? I'm reading them because I want to read them. So it's not like um, I'm not really reading them in preparation so much for the degree course that starts in October. I am, but I'm not. It's because I want to listen, because it's just something I'm actually interested in, which is, it surprised me a little bit because I'm looking forward to it now. Oh, when I did the counseling degree I don't know. I mean, I was, I was kind of looking. Yeah, I was looking forward to it. I was, but I was scared of the. I was scared of every aspect of the degree course before. 
you know, I was scared of the counselling part. I was scared of being in a classroom with people. I was scared of the, uh, just everything to do with it, including the academic side, because I didn't, I didn't believe that I was a, that I had the capability to complete at that level. I, I didn't to complete to complete a le- to complete a course at that level. And I was right. <sighs> no, I did. I did complete it, but I didn't get a good grade. But the reason I didn't get a good grade was because I was rubbish. <laughs> I actually had, I don't know if I might, I I have mentioned this before, but I'm aware that not everybody that's listening now has listened to, has necessarily been listening for a long time maybe. So, um, So I do repeat myself at times. I do repeat myself sometimes. Um, Occasionally I repeat myself, occasionally. And I just, the way I see it is this, like when I, when I had my, I can never remember the name of it. You know, when you get, you receive, you receive your degree. What's it called? The ceremony thing. When I went to that, uh, I had to wear me flat hat. In fact, if I can find a picture, I'll post it. In fact, I think there, there must be a picture on Facebook of me wearing that hat I'll, what I'll do is I'll download it and I'll post it on here because that would have been on my Facebook page because I've had this same Facebook page like the other Facebook page for years <clears throat> so there's got to be a picture of me in my hat but it's from a long time ago I mean it's 2010 November Sounds like I don't know if it's. Oh my goodness! Does anyone want to see a picture of my shed? Wow! Wow! I can't believe some of the pictures I'm seeing. I didn't even know I had a picture of my shed. Blimey! It's <laughs> I'm going to post that on fa- on the YouTube, I'm um, not YouTube, on the Facebook page, you know, the group. All right, if you, if you, so basically for those that are not aware, or that don't know, um, that are listening on the podcast, I have a Facebook group called Jason Newland's Boring Group. There's currently 174 members. It's a private group, but you can just ask to join Molly's the boss of the group. Um, I I post stuff on there that uh, when it comes to things like photographs and of Vinny and stuff like that, I don't post it anywhere else. And uh, I, I put posts on there that aren't ever anywhere else. It's just me, you know, like I did a a poll earlier. But I'll tell you about that later because there's an interesting story wow the amount of pictures of Andre nothing but pictures of Andre on here like obviously from a long time ago and there's one in his bag and that's from 17th of May 2018 blimey I wonder if I took any pictures of him when I first got him because that, that's something that I thought I would have done. But you know what? You know what probably happened? Because the pictures here only go back to 2017. So guaranteed what I did, being me, is I went through all the pictures and I deleted them all. That's probably what I did. You know, 2011, 2012, whatever. But I just deleted everything. But I have not done that since 2017. Just shows you I'm a little bit better than I used to be. At the same time, I don't post, I don't post a huge amount of pictures, generally. So there's no pictures of me. I wonder, though. 
there's got to be pictures isn't there it's got to be picked some I have to have a picture somewhere of me this got to be surely um hmm there's got to be anyway I couldn't find anything on Facebook that's very strange I wonder what happened there because I don't really remember a lot of what I've done so we've started you know in those situations because I'm not quite necessarily um particularly in the right space when I'm deleting stuff well I'm usually in a really good mood when I'm doing it might sound weird but well maybe not a good mood but a mixed a mixed state uh, 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 uh. okay nope can't find anything I want to do a little search because I've got a lot of stuff I've got a lot of pictures a lot of um, not many of me though to be honest captures but then what iCloud family pictures family pictures would it be on there nope nothing there is have you seen a picture of my nanny my nanny Newland if you haven't and I can post a picture on that of that of her as well there's one of me and her so look um, uh, pod pictures okay let's have a look at pictures see if there's anything Elvis Presley <laughs> camera roll nope that's just two videos that's really strange I wonder what happened to them maybe because I didn't pay I cancelled my iCloud maybe it's all saved on there and I've lost it all uh, oh well no I can't see anything there's picked there's still stuff of Andre on there um, and some images that I've used for podcasts and stuff picture of me blimey Madonna no nothing with my is it a mortise board isn't it what you have on your head ah that's very 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 strange images H I images H I iCloud images let's have a look nope none there either this would be more interesting if you could actually see although it's not supposed to be interesting is it uh, no wow although I do have a picture I think in my photo album that my dad made me a couple of years back of me in my uh, full dress thing you know the whatever it's called I still can't remember the ceremony what it's called but at that ceremony okay okay degree ceremony for some reason degree ceremony it says a degree ceremony I know what degree ceremony is what's it called does it do degree ceremony University of Oxford degrees are confer conferred as at degrees oh. This degree ceremony. Stop calling it a ceremony. That's what I call it. Graduation. Graduation. Below me. So a graduation day. On the day when I went up and collected my diploma of qualification of you know, completion of the degree, pass of the degree. Uh, I only I got a third class pass. It was it wasn't a good pass, but it was a pass. 
but second class would have been better. First class would have been unattainable <laughs> at that time, I think. Uh, the only reason I didn't get a higher grade really is it wasn't because of my mark scores, my my the scores of my coursework. It was because I handed the stuff in late. Everything was late for the entire third year, so it was all capped at forty percent. When I was actually getting, although I wasn't getting huge huge scores, I was still getting like 67, 66, 67. Um, instead of 40 so 67 out of 100 but they were, they were capping it at 40 because that was the pass or or was it 67 out of 80 oh, I can't I'm, I'm struggling to remember but anyway I was they capped so I was capped at the, the very minimum because I was late handing stuff in now had I known that I had bipolar at the time, I could have gone to them and said, look, I just need a bit more time and this is why. And I probably would have got permission for that. I did ask, I did get extensions, but I still didn't manage to hand the stuff in. And I constantly was going to leave the course over and over again. But I managed to stick it out. And I didn't think that they realised quite how difficult it was for me at that time. Because I didn't really make a big deal about it you know but they awarded me a certificate of achievement as well as my diploma as well as my degree they um so i got a, a certificate of a, i got a 50 pound voucher and a certificate of achievement um, and i didn't understand why i got it so i spoke to my head of the year the tutor and he said it's because I overcame adversity to complete the three years when you know after because I went through a lot and I kind of I still managed to finish even though I'd, it was capped and I didn't get a good grade necessarily I still managed to pass and finish so I was like oh I mean I would have got a second I would have got a second if I'd have, if I was, um, if I handed in everything on time, but so in my mind, I'm like, okay, I did all right. But technically, I I thought it was good enough in in a sense of, I would have got a second. <laughs> I keep saying, if I keep saying it to myself, it's eventually going to mean something. Well. I was I was pleased the fact that I actually finished it because for me getting a degree was like that was my Mount Everest that was something that I never believed all of my adult life up to that point even up to the point of getting the getting it handed to me you know, getting me the certificate I really didn't believe that I could accomplish getting an undergraduate degree, a bachelor's with arts. Was it about BA? Was it a bachelor with arts? I don't know. No, bachelor's with honors, not bachelor's. Bachelor's of bachelor's of arts. Bachelor's of BA honors. So I didn't imagine in this, really, I didn't believe at all now I guess the difference now going into a new degree is I know I can do it because I've done it I know it's, it's not getting a degree is not really it's not an unattainable thing uh, the challenge would be sticking with it generally because I've got, I've got a real history of not sticking with things But it's not the worst thing in the world, is it? You know, being being known as not being sticky. So I, for me, I guess getting a good grade, that would be the more important thing for me. 
uh, other than enjoying it and just doing it for the fun because it's not a career move because when I actually get this degree I'll have seven years before I retire so you know I think it's quite difficult to have a seven year career it's possible <laughs> maybe it's possible I went on I went online on a government website to see just this out of interest really it's not, I'm not wishing time away I'm really not but uh, I was 67. On my 67th birthday, 26th of August, 19, uh, 2036 or something. Is it, is it 38? No. 2000. Oh, I can figure it out quite easy, can I? 20. I'll be. Yes, yeah, so I'll be. It's be two, 26th of August, 2037 will be my retirement which is absolutely ridiculous considering it's 2024 13 years away how is that even possible how how I don't get it I don't understand how is that possible how can I be 13 years from retiring? I only left school a couple of months ago, and now, you know, I was 16, a couple of months ago, and now, or 15, and now I'm a bit older. Wow. It's very strange, this old aging thing. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's the, is it 4th of October? I don't know. The only thing, there's two things I need to do before the course starts. I've got a debt I need to pay off. And there is, one, once the course starts, I need to get Microsoft 365 or whatever it is, which is the, uh, it's, I don't know if I'll be able to get a student package. Basically, I need that for doing the coursework. Uh, I don't know, it's like, I don't know how much that is a month. It's not much, I don't think. And then I need to, before the course starts, I need to get my eyes tested and I'm going to need to get myself some new glasses because I think I'm going to need three different types of glasses. One for reading, one for this, you know, normal day-to-day -day wearing, and the other one would be for computer work. So what I'll do is I'll get cheap frames or as cheap as possible, maybe even free frames if I can, or but very cheap frames for the reading ones and for the using computer. And then I'll try and get some decent ones for when I'm out. Because the ones I've got are quite decent and they're active light so they go it's like they like shades. And that's because of my eyes, because I've got um, the, the optician said that there was like the a beginning of macro degeneration kind of stuff going on. Like that's a hereditary thing. My nan had it. My bro, my um, my dad had it, or has it rather. But it's just like the early stages. So by wearing the shades, to it could protect my eyes for a little bit longer. I mean, looking at a computer screen for hours on end is probably not doing myself any favours, but hey, what would I do without a, without a blind ball? I love my computer. So they're the things I need to do. Um, so I need to get glasses. So I'm going to try, see if I can get an appointment at the beginning of probably September. And then, then I'll have that done. Yeah, then it will be all done. Because the appointment, then it usually takes a few days for the glasses to come through. And let me just see what the date is. So 24th today. Uh, 1st, the 31st of July. Next Wednesday. 
So if I go for the first, not that's a Sunday. So maybe if I go for August, September. So yes, yeah, so if I go for maybe Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, second or third of September, organize. I don't know if it'll be those dates, but as an example, so if I if I could have the the test on the second and then I can probably collect them by the Friday and then that gives me one two three just over three weeks before I start the course so yeah so I posted I posted I posted yes I did really strange I can't find any pictures of me with my mortise board hmm that just seems weird where would they be where would they be unless it's under bits and bobs because that's there's a chance but I didn't really know what to put them under so let's have a look 2000 oh okay there are times when I just take stuff I've taken stuff off of, off of iCloud in the past there's nothing on there uh, that's gonna bug me that is it is genuinely it's gonna really bug me because I don't know hmm why on earth are bits and bobs is, is there a bits and bobs on this one b b b b b b b b no there isn't there is on the other one bits and bobs uh 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 uh, uh, uh maybe icloud let's have a little look under icloud transcripts boobies uh, pictures okay so now I've already looked at that's what Beatles and Elvis I don't know why I've got pictures of Beatles and the Elvis and the Elvis random stuff maybe it's on there random stuff that sounds like a place no there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine things fair enough well that is a picture I wonder what that is of nope can't unsee that no nah, it's just a picture of a video that I did of a candle again nothing weird just a candle iCloud 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 photos oh <gasps> this could be something interesting could be could be because I download I'm pretty sure I downloaded but then if it's only our iCloud there won't be anything from 2010 on there I didn't even have an iCloud in 2010 I don't even know if there was an iCloud in 2010 there are loads of pictures of Vinny and Logie and uh, me and Vinny and Vinny again <laughs> me Ah, okay, there's quite a few Logie and Vinny in a tent, Vinny in bed. Yeah, Vinny and Logie together, Vinny asleep. Blimey. Oh well, iCloud, oh, there's another one, iCloud Photos. Well, that was strange, I don't know what that was. iCloud Photos inside the iCloud Photos. So iCloud, then there's an iCloud. 2023 what's on this one this is not particularly visually friendly is it this this recording whoops no that's just audio recordings iCloud backup no video there's literally nothing on that one huh. No, I don't know. 
I wonder where that stuff would be. If I can find a picture, I'll try and like take a picture on the phone and upload it so you can see me. I would have posted that. I wonder why it's not on now. I would, I would, I would, I would. I would have posted that on Facebook. Unless, unless I posted it on my bigger page, which is the, there's a, there's a chance, let's have a look. I don't think so, I don't think I've got hardly any photos on there. Oh, I'm wrong, there are quite a few photos. Okay, that's all of them though. Unless, yeah, that's it, it's hardly any. There's a few. It goes back to what? Wow, 30th October 2013. Two, three, four, five, five. There's still only about 30 pictures though. Huh. How unusual. Unless there's albums. Albums. Profile pictures, five. Cover albums. Andre and L playing. Wow. Holly going to Uncle. Early Christmas 2015. I had a clean up of flat. 9th, 9th of January 2000. Is there anything in there? Or are they just folders? They're just folders with nothing in them. Really? What, what, why? What's the point in that? Why? Someone tell me why. Blimey. That's very strange. I don't get that. I just don't remember half of what I've done. Like, when it comes to Facebook and deleting stuff and that. I mean, I've been much better these, these years now, but in the past, I used to always be deleting things. Don't, fingers crossed, don't tend to do that anymore. Oh, right, I've got, oh, yeah, nothing. Cover photos. Profile pictures, you never know, there might be a profile picture from the past. Well, there is, but not any that, oh, there is a picture of me and my nan. Oh. Picture of little Andre. Cute little thing. You're living in the past, JJ. Yeah. Shut up. So, um, right, Facebook. Come on, let's go. Let's have a look at Facebook. This is what I was going to talk about. Jason Newland's boring group. First of all, I'd like to say welcome to. I've already said welcome to Tina. I think yesterday, but we do have another person joined today. And so I want to say welcome to Sean. Welcome, Sean. Oh, welcome, Sean. Oh, welcome, 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 Sean. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to post that. I'm going to post that. So, welcome. What? Welcome. Really? Welcome, Sean. To this group. Right. Right. So, I posted, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I mentioned it yesterday, I've been thinking about, well, I bet this is what I posted, should I upload all of my past 1,164 Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcasts onto YouTube as videos? Long sentence, to be honest, it's quite a long sentence, yes or no? Kissy, 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 kissy. So there was three answers. There was yes, no, 
And the third answer was, stop asking me questions and make a new podcast episode, monkey boy. Now, which one do you think came out top? Number three. Number three. Now, not many people, I only posted it five hours ago, haven't had many people actually make a vote. 40 people have seen it, only a few people have actually voted. Um, I think, is it, I think, uh, okay. Right, so that's the top, unless anyone wants to come back and do it, but that's the one that's got the most votes. And it wasn't probably the most compelling poll in the history of the world. But here are the comments I got. <sighs> I got two, two that said no. Six that said, stop asking me questions and make a new podcast episode, monkey boy. And zero that said yes. So the first person to leave a comment was Lynn. Uh, I said no because I listened to the most recent ones until they don't bore me or distract me enough. I don't think I'd ever go back several years to find something. So if I were you, I would not waste my time. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, Phil says, I think that's a tone of unnecessary work on your behalf. Obviously, you're enjoying that platform as, as well. Moving forward, I just start adding your latest ones as you go. I mean, it's entirely up to you, but that's my opinion on it. Or maybe you could aim to do it once a month. The old video per month or something. One, one old video per month. Uh, that'll take me... How many months is 1,000 months? Blimey. So one one a month, that's 12 a year. Blimey, how long that would take? How long would that take? 1,000. Uh, how do you spell calculator? Oh, there it is. So, um, how many have I got? 1,164 divided by 12. It took me 97 years. <laughs> no, no, 97 years to upload those. So yeah, um, blimey. It's quite a few. So I appreciate both of you. Thanks for your comments. I did ask for, I did ask the question. So I appreciate that you've gone to the to um, the trouble to actually answer me as well as um, writing as, as well. So thanks for that. Um, Lynn says, me too. YouTube goes off my phone when it goes into sleep mode, but not Spotify. Okay, I didn't know that. Mine, I don't think mine does. I don't think so. no I don't ref I don't know maybe it does Tricia says I think you'll be giving yourself a load of work unnecessarily I listen on Apple podcasts and have eyes closed when I'm trying to be bored to sleep I would never go on to and Vinny just farted oh doesn't say that I'm just that's me saying that oh man <sighs> You just carry on like normal, like nothing's happened. <sighs> Why is he always face his bum's always facing me when he farts? Always. So, yeah, uh, I'd never go into YouTube, listen to him, give yourself a break and rest because once you start doing your open university course, you'll be working so hard at that you wish you hadn't spent so much time uploading them and enjoying the calm before the storm. Well, I hope there's not going to be a storm, I hope. Um, that's my opinion anyway. You give enough of yourself doing what you do for us. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you. 
Um, also, what does OBG OBG mean? Is that object? It's it just like it, it, something's come up on the screen. I think that's where an object was. I know. Wishing you good luck with your psychology course. Thank you. So thank you, Tricia. Oh. Thank you, Lynn, and thank you, Phil. It's, uh, I think it's uh, decided then. So I'm gonna upload them all. It's gonna take ages. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just gonna... The thing is, I don't know if I really told you, the history of YouTube is that's where I started. That That's where I really, that's where I really first made my mark. I know that I'm not even a smudge on the window anymore on YouTube, but there was a time when I was doing okay, you know? I was uh, holding my own when it came to hypnosis, uh, you know, doing hypnosis videos. Even though they weren't good quality sound or video, I had an audience that seemed to like what I was doing. And I suppose in a way, I missed that. Also, there's, there's a, even if I was to go, you know, going forward, you know, I was, I never did this to make any money. I never, that was never my, my plan. But there's no money to be made doing podcasts for me. Maybe YouTube is the only option where I could perhaps turn this into a living before I retire. Got 13 years to do that. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm not going to upload them anyway. So I, I asked. I asked the group for, you know, your opinion, and you're giving it to me. So I'm gonna. If I just ignored it then that, that would be why did I bother asking in the first place so I'm going to listen mind you I might look tomorrow and it'll change to a different you know demographic or statistic or whatever it's called but I think I kind of agree with you I don't actually want to do it anyway I don't want to go and do one make 1,600 videos 1,600, 1,164. The problem is, it starts making me feel like a little bit that each recording I do is not really worth much. If they're not, because they're not gonna be listened to again. Because on the podcast, I only show the last 250. On, on SoundCloud, you can get all of them. But, you know, I think most people listen on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or, you know, like a, an app, uh, which I would as well, to be honest, if uh, I use, at the moment, I use Apple Music. But in the past, I used to use, I had Amazon Music, so I could listen to podcasts on there. And before that, I had Spotify. So I could listen to podcasts on there if I wanted to. You know, so it's... Uh, and uh, you only get the, the the most recent 250 episodes. And bearing in mind, there's four different versions of each recording, which breaks it down to... Blimey. The most recent, well, 250, half of that is 125, half 125 is 50, 63. So you're only getting the most latest 63 recordings, all four versions of them, which is not a lot, is it, really, considering there's 1,100 and whatever different recordings. It's like, well, all that work, and no one's ever going to be listening to them. 
Yeah. Maybe I should just think of it as being like a radio show. No one listens to old radio shows, do they? The show's on, then it's gone. It's live, and then it's gone. But because this isn't live, I suppose it it feels more like it's a work of art. <laughs> I mean, there's some good podcasts that I've done that are probably, I don't know, pretty good. People have told me. There's some that people have said, oh, that was really good, but one person told me that it was good once uh, it's 2008 14th of February 2008 yeah I remember because I've just yeah i just come out of the toilet and uh, just washed my hands and yeah I was drying my hands on the curtains in the living room and I remember the I, just like my phone was like lit up and not lit up, like lit up, but it was like, I thought it was on someone on the phone, someone ringing me, but it wasn't. I think in them days I had uh, notifications switched on or something, and it might have been, it might have been a Facebook comment, or maybe a message even. I think he's having a good old drink, I think he's just been chewed on a bone. Cleansing his palate. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, it's gone back to the bone again. So I think it tastes better when he's like, you know, got his palate back. Everything tastes so much better now that I've had a bit of water, a bit of water. So yeah, I think yeah. So I'm not gonna do that. It just seems. I suppose to me. Each individual let me boy to sleep is just as it to me, to me personally, just as important to me as each individual hypnosis session I've done. I suppose it could be argued that the let me boy to sleep's a very samey, I guess, you know, similar to each other. Um it could be argued that the relax and sleep hypnosis daily or the deep sleep whisper hypnosis ones are you know samey as well I guess I don't know I'm confused now I don't know what to do I don't know I'm just you know I don't know if this podcast in it it's I don't know where it's going. I don't know if it's going to still be around in a few years. Not me. Well, hopefully I'll still be around, but oh, my back's feeling a lot better. Thanks. Oh, thank you, whoever is in charge of backs. I've been in so much pain. Really, a lot of pain in the middle of my back like the top half so much I've had it before skeletal kind of skeletal thing and now it's not completely gone it's, it's still painful but wow it's nothing like it was yesterday or the day before or the day before that or the, the week before that you know it's been like this for about three or four weeks and I've sort of I'm not going to do any exercise he's just fired again did you hear that he literally did a loud loud fart do you remember the time when okay I'm never going to admit to ever farting but there was a time when maybe it sounded like it was coming from me of course it wasn't as you can hear clearly he's the one he's it's his his thing it comes out of. So I'm very grateful for my back feeling better than what it was. I've not done any exercise other than just walking and you know it was getting a little bit silly. Although I have been doing a little bit of um 
I don't know if you were, yeah, probably a little bit of hypnosis, a little bit of positive thinking, a little bit of uh, self-relaxing, you know, relaxing the muscles, letting it just sort of, imagining my back stretching and imagining the, the spine being just cleaned on either side and just things like that, just uh, the... But when I'm doing that stuff, it makes me feel, I feel more positive. And in the moment, the the back does feel better. I mean, it's still hurting, but it's hard oh, compared to what it was. I mean, just standing up was like, I'm, I'm still in agony. It was really, really painful. It was it probably about the same level as I'd say probably a week after I fractured my back. So a week, because it wasn't quite in the level of like being fractured, but after about a week, that's that's what this felt like. So it's still really, really painful. But the thing is, when I had the fractured back, I kind of didn't care about the pain because I knew what caused it and that was all you know I knew I knew what it was I knew it was going to heal and I just had to get on with it it was a chore to get out I had to get my friend to help me out of the chair sometimes because you know it was difficult but I knew that come you know, six weeks, five, six, seven weeks, or whatever, it'd be fine. And it was. I mean, there's a chance that this could be a little bit to do with the fracture. Maybe, of, uh, who knows, but it's definitely healing now anyway. I can feel it. And I was good. I, You know, it's the whole thing about, oh, need to check my lungs are okay so I lied down on the floor a few days ago lungs are fine I can get a full old thing of lungs L yeah that's it that's all the word I was thinking of and it wasn't even hurting my back so it's more to do with posture and um, and that's the thing I suppose crouching over looking at the computer screen sitting down quite a lot I perhaps need to be more movie you know more movement in my day would probably is what's needed and I take Vinny out for a few few times three or four times a day for a walk but because of the fields have all been grown over and uh, the council or whoever maintains the fields they've not done it this year so I've not been able to really go into the fields because just like stinging nails everywhere, fawns. I can't get through onto the pathway, even though it's a public pathway. So I've been kind of stuck to like the local park. The weird thing is in in the autumn, it's, it's nothing grows. It's like it's it's just it's the perfect place to walk, provided it's not raining, and the ground's hard because it's cold, sort of around autumn, spring, autumn winter time, uh, and so it's quite a nice walk. But then it's not. It's a bit chilly. I don't I don't mind actually. I, I wrap up, so I don't care so much. But it is nice to go for a long walk in the summer. Especially like early evening, like five or six or something maybe, or or maybe early morning even. You know, it's just nice to get out when it's not like really hot. And because we only have four and a half hot days a year in this country, so you know, I'm usually okay. I think it's been quite nice today. I like the I like it when it's not hot, personally. I like it when it's a nice day, but it's like a bit of a breeze, 
bit of a breeze. I like a bit of a breeze. And that 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 suits me. It does. So oh I haven't been talking for an hour. Really? Wow. I need to get some food. So let me just check the news. Anything on the news? <sighs> What? What on earth? Blimey. No, I'm just seeing some stuff on the news that I didn't know was... Uh... Let's just have a look at the sport. Is there anything boxing? Nothing in the boxing. Now about boxing. Nagano targets MMA return in October. Well, to be fair, if you don't know um, Nagano, he fought both Joshua and Tyson Fury and probably made himself, well, he did make himself a lot, a lot of money. And the fact that he's continuing to fight just shows you that he must love it. He doesn't, he surely, unless he's got like huge debts, or like 2,000 kids to support. He might have thought he'd have earned enough to retire. I want to see how much he's worth. How much is he worth? Because he got paid. How much did he get? I don't even know how much he got paid. I'm sure he got paid like at least 10 million each fight. Because he fought Tyson Fury and then... Which went the distance... And then he fought Anthony Joshua and got knocked out. What? Oh my gosh. Wow. No, I just read something about his, he's got some personal stuff just happened. Like, wow, I had no idea. Whoa. All right, I'm not going to talk about him anymore. So let's have a look. What? Here's me looking at news, expecting to see lots of good stuff, lots of happy positive stories from around the world and it doesn't seem to be anywhere it, it's weird where's all the nice stories gone I remember the old days you know it was nothing but good news all the time oh wait a minute <laughs> rare white squirrels spotted on the street that's a good news story just the fact that it's about a squirrel, that's what I mean. It's what appears to be a rare, a rare white squirrel. Let's play this and see what it's... Okay. That's, that is definitely a squirrel and it's white. It's really fitting, it's a video, yeah, and there's nothing else there. It's on a road on a pavement of the road nothing else there but they did a big circle so you could see where it was like to me to be honest it could be yeah it's definitely a squirrel it's a I suppose like an albino squirrel I suppose you can get albino uh, different things can't you we had an albino prime minister for a little while over here, old Mr. Johnson. They used to call him the albino gorilla, which I think is very rude. I don't think I should have said that about him. Boris, you don't know how many. Conspiracy theories swirl around geoengineering, but could it help save the planet? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Donald Trump's. Uh, ask me questions 
She's made her opening gambit. What's the chances long game? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Which voters should the Tories go after now? I don't... Why are you putting question marks after all the different things? I don't know. Why? Can we change how our brains age? These, these scientists think it's possible. Well, there was a time, there was a time, and it's not even that long ago apparently, where they didn't believe that we could change our brains. You know, you know the whole thing, uh, you can't teach a old dog new tricks whatever they used to say and uh, a leopard can't change his spots you know those kinds of uh, pointless uh, euphemisms or whatever they are I'll tell you the one I find the most ridiculous the most ridiculous my friend used to say this a lot and he used to annoy me no smoke without fire just I hear that and my brain just switches off like I can't talk I can't even listen to this person no smoke without fire I mean so basically what you're saying is every single person accused of something is guilty is that what you're saying no but there's no smoke without fire that's what you are saying is every it's just a ridiculous thing to say I mean we're all guilty of something aren't we but not necessarily that whatever they're being accused of no smoke about fire. <laughs> Do you sometimes think that these sayings are just for people so they don't have to think? It's just a list. Now this is what you need to teach your baby as he grows up. Right, it's this part, old people pass it on to the new parents. Then they pass it on to their kids when they have kids. Like, these are some things you've got to teach your kids. Uh... <laughs> What other pointless things did I learn? Um, oh man, it's no, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Can he be bothered? Whistleblower behind what? Watch Olympic rugby seven. See, here's something that annoys me, all right, okay? Why are professional athletes allowed to compete in the Olympics? Someone tell me, please. Someone, quickly. Why? How, how can that even... Olympics is supposed to be amateurs, for amateurs, the best amateurs in the world. So the best amateur, leave, let the amateurs become professional after the Olympics if they choose to. So, you know, you don't let professional tennis players play the Olympics. They do, but I don't think they should. Let the amateurs have their time. I mean, even professional boxers, some, I don't know quite how they do the ruling, can apply to be in the Olympics now is that fair although to be fair a lot of professionals would struggle professional boxers would struggle because in the Olympics they've got minimum amount of time to score see this person downstairs just slamming their door slam 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 they do it about five times in a row so it's already done it twice wait for the next one Next one, any second now. There's usually at least four. They don't want to do it now. He's getting so much better, he's not even bothered by it. You know, I'll tell you one thing, he doesn't, doesn't concern him at all, is the dustbin day. When all the well, I only hear men's voices out there, but uh, all shouting and swearing and blah, 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 like 7 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, getting all the rubbish. He doesn't care. You know, just as I said that, he started barking. Just as I was saying about how good he is. 
started barking. <sighs> right, I'm gonna go. So thank you for listening. Is it Wednesday? So I'm doing a Q and A Friday again this week. So you're gonna wind me up, Vinny, if you keep barking. Calm now. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. You notice how he never barks. He never barks during that last little bit. Maybe because he knows it's the end of the recording. Now he's going to get an opportunity to do something, I don't know, not sure what he wants to do, anyway, I can open the door so we can now run into the hallway and bark <laughs> at flies or whatever, so thank you, and goodbye.